guy friend, you know, when I lived in Tennessee, I lived next door to some people that had horses. One of them was named Bob and he was really good with kids. And the other one was named Ace. And Ace, he was a little bit of a scamp. I remember one time I was outside picking the garden and one of those plastic grocery sacks got away from me and blew over in the pen with him. So I scooted under the fence and went to go get that thing. He had grabbed it and was throwing it in the air. And a horse will choke on something like that. I grabbed it away from him and scooted back under the fence. And I tell you, as I started under that fence, always head butted me and knocked me right into the electric fence. I was talking to a friend of mine about that and he said, you know, sometimes animals respond to us by the names that we've given them because we've created an expectation within ourselves of how the animal's going to behave based on the name that we give them. And he said it works with people too. However, we treat people is the way that they're generally going to respond to us because we've created an expectation. And I thought, wow, that's why Jesus made this so simple. In Matthew chapter 7 and verse 12, he gave us that which we call the golden rule, to do unto others the way that we would have them to do unto us. So the question today is, what are your expectations of others? Remember to do unto them in a kind way first. Now that's a thought for your Thursday.